Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So if you're not already in the healthcare sector, then I have a great stock for you, I think. This is Genmap stock. It's a Danish company. We're carrying on the um, carrying on the series here with Danish companies and it's actually undervalued with almost 40% and it has grown its earnings so much here in the last quarter. So first of all they they are founded in uh, in Denmark in Copenhagen um and they are making uh, treats treatments to cancer and uh, they hope to lead this develop development um in this kind of cancer treatment section uh, sector. Um yeah, Genmap develops uh, antibody uh, therapeutics for treatment of cancer and other diseases primarily in Denmark and also internationally if you need proof here is um, the Wikipedia page uh, a lot more about where they are and what they do and yeah they are in a lot of countries it's not like the biggest company in, in Denmark but it's still a humongous company and I think it has a, a great future ahead of it so stay till the end of this video guys because uh, you won't regret it if you're interested in um, in this sort of uh, sort of stock. So, first of all, let's take a look at the long-term price volatility right here. Um, you can see the industry right here, the DK Biotech volatility over the past five years. They track the volatility and then they make this uh, very easy. So this is the average. This is the Danish market, right? It's it's here in volatility. The sector is uh, generally uh, lower in volatility and the company is even lower. So the valuation, um, it is val uh, it's undervalued with almost 40%. So its current value, this is in Danish crowns. But again, right here, you can see in the NASDAQ, it is um, $40 a stock. But it's undervalued with with um, 40%, and I think I know why, guys. It's because the results of uh, 2020, first of all, and then also this first quarter in 2021, they have been performing so well. So um, that is that is why I think, uh, yeah, the future growth, they think it will grow a lot here. Um, and earnings and revenue. Um, also something that I'm kind of uh, stoked about with this company. Um, yeah, the past performance also looking great. Um, very nice earnings growth, historical earnings growth. Um, but let's now come down here to the financial health. First of all, they check a lot of boxes here. That's good because of the debt. So normally you have the debt kind of follows this revenue because usually they when they grow in revenue, they grow the company, they get more debt, right? Uh, this company has never operated with any debt. They have never been in debt. That is not something that they do. So it, it is, of course, a good thing because it's not good to have debt. But it can mean that um, that you you don't grow the company as quickly because that is the that's kind of the upside with a debt. That is that you can you can scale a company so so quickly, right? Um, take a take a loan, and um, then you can then you can make if you, it's like a three percent um, uh, loan, right? Then then you can make so much more uh, return on that investment. So that is why you can scale so quickly these days when you can get these cheap loans. Um, but this company doesn't operate with those, so it's it's of course good because it's it's um, you kind of. That's probably also what checks a lot of these uh, boxes here in the financial health um, is that they have never operated with any debt. So I think if, if you're uh, anyway going for a company that isn't that uh, that volatile, then it's r really good to have to have uh, to have no debt. And um, also, I think maybe it's 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 this sector that um, it's this sector that doesn't really operate with that much debt um, usually. So the dividends, uh, dividends, not uh, any uh, dividends right now at the moment. Uh, and, and I got no problem with that personally, but yeah. So uh, we have the um, management team, 3.3 uh, year average uh, management tenure. And the CEO, uh, this guy, 60 years old. And right here. Uh, he 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 has uh, he's heavy on the on the stock, um, 
uh, this CEO, um, but he has been consistent with uh, the company's performance over the past year. So he's, he's uh, yeah, and he's also the whole management team is considered experienced. So uh, yeah, ownership. No insiders ha has has uh, bought and s bought or sold anything um, here the past year. So that is, I suppose that's fine because no one has sold anything. So that is a good sign. Um, and ownership a breakdown. Um, yeah, that's just how that is. And the top shareholders right here. What I want to get into now is actually quite exciting because it's these uh, very nice uh, results that they have been per they, they have uh, made right here. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit right here. And you can see the report here for the first quarter of 2021. Here's the first quarter of 2021 and here's the first quarter for 2020. So you can kind of um, get the difference and uh, and kind of picture them. Uh, and see what kind of growth we've seen. So the revenue right here has actually grown with 77%. So that is absolutely crazy. Uh, 70 77%, that's, come on, that's almost doubling. Um, that's almost doubling their revenue. Um, and this is in DK uh, million. So yeah, it's not, it's not uh, a thousand bucks, right? Right, it's a, uh, yeah, it's a lot of money. Operating expenses has went up a little bit. Um, operating uh, operating results has also went up. Um, net financial items also, yeah, that's a lot. Uh, net uh, net result basically has, yeah, what is that? Um, doubled like four times or something like that. So with 400%. Um, so that is absolutely great. I think uh, the the cash position, the cash position is all has also grown because they have no debt probably, and they have um, they have of of course grown their their earnings and um, total assets also grown. Basically, everything has grown in this company. If you want to pause the video and take a look at everything, that's fine. Um, but I won't get into more detail with this because you don't really get any more out of it. It's just you get the idea now, right? It's it has performed insanely well the past year, and um, yeah. So maybe should we read this? Um, it's a Danish biotech company, um, and it's based in Copenhagen, Denmark, and internationally. Uh, it operates through the subsidiaries, the kind of daughter companies, as we call them in, in Danish, um, kind of companies that build out from this company. Um, uh, Genmap BV and uh, Genmap US Inc. Um, yeah, so yeah, they have uh, some subsidiaries and they're in this industry. I think this industry will will be huge in the future because so many people um, lose their lives, as we pro probably have to say here on YouTube, um, to cancer and. Um, I think if if these I don't know too much of, about like the specific things that they do, but um, but it seems like if if this is working and they can really really cure, kind of cure the cure the cancer, right? Um, then then I think uh, it's of course a great great thing. Um, that will be great. So probably has a great future ahead of it. Um, and it's also undervalued and it has a great some absolutely stunning stunning um financial results here so i i yeah they're in rapid growth and i'm actually thinking myself uh, i haven't uh, uh, i haven't looked too much into the company but i'm thinking right now when i'm making this video it kind of maybe i should buy something myself um but only problem is i'm almost um invested 100 percent right now so I don't know um, about that, but yeah, I think this company is a great, great bet, um, but not financial advice. This is only something that can help you with your research uh, when you are looking um, to maybe invest in this company. So yeah, make your own research. And uh, with that said, have a great rest of your day. But before I say that, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out 
the channel. Um, and with that said, have a great rest of your day. Peace.